the latest episode of NCIS Season 22, Episode 6, titled The Kingmaker, felt like a clever homage to the grittier, character-driven drama of Tulsa King, the paramount mob drama starring Sylvester Stallone. While NCIS is traditionally known for its action pack, procedural formula and heartfelt moments, this episode boldly took a detour into a more nuanced world of organized crime, featuring a mix of tense confrontations, strategic alliances, and unexpected power plays. And in doing so, it pulled off an ambitious crossover of genres, blending its military-rooted investigations with a street-smart flair reminiscent of Tulsa King's exploration of mob dynamics and leadership. In this episode, the NCIS team is tasked with investigating the murder of a high-ranking Navy officer whose death is tied to a shadowy network of underground crime syndicates. The case seems standard at first, but soon, the investigation uncovers a tangled web of deceit, corruption, and violence that hints at far-reaching implications for both the military and organized crime. As the team digs deeper, they find themselves entangled in a world of power brokers, ruthless criminals, and a fight for survival that stretches beyond the walls of a typical NCIS investigation. Breaking the Mold with a Mob Storyline The structure of this episode feels like a nod to the intricate storylines of Tulsa King, where Stallone's character, Dwight Manfredi, must navigate a treacherous world of organized crime in a new city. Here, NCIS agents find themselves similarly navigating a murky world of crime and power that feels foreign yet oddly familiar. The heart of the episode lies in the dynamics of crime organizations, those with too much power, and those looking to seize it, as well as the conflict between loyalty and ambition. In many ways, this episode channels Tulsa King's approach to storytelling, where power is something that's not simply handed over but fought for, manipulated, and brokered through a series of high-stakes confrontations. For example, one of the most compelling scenes in The Kingmaker occurs when Agent Gibbs Mark Harmon, along with his trusted team, confronts a key suspect in the murder who is connected to an underground crime syndicate. The moment is tense, almost like a mob boss meeting where alliances are tested, secrets are unveiled, and trust is fleeting. It's clear that everyone has something to gain, or lose, depending on how the power shifts. Character Dynamics – A Shift Toward Tension and Strategy One of the most captivating elements of this episode is the shift in the dynamic between the NCIS agents themselves. The stakes of this case aren't just about catching the criminal, it's about understanding the kind of power they're dealing with. As the investigation goes deeper, the team faces growing tension among themselves, particularly between Special Agent Torres, Wilmer Valderrama, and Agent Knight, Katrina Law. Torres, often the impulsive and emotionally driven agent, finds himself in an unfamiliar position of needing to think strategically, weighing out not only his instincts, but the consequences of each move. Knight, on the other hand, brings a level of cold calculation that mirrors the more cerebral power-driven approach of characters seen in mob-centered stories. The interplay between Taurus and Knight adds a layer of depth to their relationship as they clash in their investigative methods. The mob-inspired power struggle that unfolds feels like a metaphor for the larger ideological divide between them. One agent trusts gut instincts, the other relies on the cold, strategic manipulation of people and resources. This strategic dynamic within the team echoes some of the most memorable moments of Tulsa King, where characters must constantly evaluate who holds the cards in any given situation. In this case, the NCIS team is forced to deal with not only criminals, but with their own evolving attitudes toward power, trust, and control. Power Plays and Strategic Alliances the episode is particularly gripping in how it showcases the art of strategic alliances, a central theme in both Tulsa King and this NCIS episode. The murderer turns out to be a cog in a larger machine, and in trying to uncover the identity of the true mastermind behind the syndicate's operations, the agents must align with criminals, 
some of whom may be just as dangerous as their quarry. A key turning point in the episode is when Gibbs and the team partner with a character from the underworld of the Navy who holds valuable intel. At first, this new alliance seems like a tactical move, but the long-term consequences of this cooperation become more complex as the episode progresses. This shifting power dynamic keeps the audience on edge as they wonder who will betray whom. This sense of uncertainty and shifting alliances is a hallmark of the mob-centric drama in Tulsa King, where characters like Dwight must determine who to trust in order to survive and succeed. The relationships between characters are also tested when the team is forced to work in a high-stakes environment. The chemistry between Gibbs and Special Agent Magee, Sean Murray, is put to the test when the stakes go beyond the murder investigation and into the realm of survival. The power of trust between the two agents becomes crucial, mirroring how Dwight in Tulsa King depends on certain individuals for support. The emotional tug of these relationships, loyalty, betrayal, and the fight for control, carries much of the tension throughout the episode, ultimately leading to an explosive climax. The Rise of the Antihero Another theme borrowed from Tulsa King is the rise of the antihero. As the episode unfolds, the audience begins to question the true motivations of several of the key players in this criminal underworld. The Navy officer whose murder starts the case may have been a victim, but the deeper the team digs, the clearer it becomes that he might have been a player in his own right. The episode leaves the audience questioning not only the identity of the murderer, but the morality of everyone involved. Was the officer truly a victim, or did he have his own part in the criminal scheme? Similarly, Gibbs and his team grapple with the idea that justice isn't always clear-cut. While NCIS often operates within the well-defined rules of law, this episode steps into more morally ambiguous territory, where there is no easy line between right and wrong. This creates a subtle but powerful shift in the show's tone, reminding us that in both the military and organized crime, the game is about power, survival, and strategy. Conclusion, a bold new direction for NCIS. Overall, NCIS Season 22, Episode 6, proves that the show is capable of reinventing itself by drawing on the complex power struggles and tension seen in mob dramas like Tulsa King. The episode's gritty exploration of criminal networks, shifting allegiances, and strategic power plays offers a refreshing change of pace from the usual formulaic mysteries. By incorporating elements of organized crime into its military investigations, NCIS manages to push its narrative boundaries while still remaining true to its roots. The characters' personal and professional dynamics are stretched in unexpected ways, and the exploration of what it means to navigate the world of power and manipulation adds a much-needed layer of sophistication to the series. In this episode, NCIS shows that even after two decades, it's still capable of surprising its audience and evolving its storytelling in bold, creative ways. Fans of both crime procedurals and character-driven dramas will find something to appreciate in this gripping, power-filled episode.